What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Dan here and welcome to a game called D4 Dark Dreams Don't Die. Now this is season one or well a volume one episode one. I'm not 100% sure how you're going to go about it, but this is a, is an episodic ga murder mystery game. Apparently it's pretty wacky made by the uh, same creator of uh, uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, Deadly Premonition. Now, this game is an exclusive to the Xbox One, and it thought I said Envision, but I didn't. But it is heavily Kinect focused, using a lot of words. Now, I opted to just, for control-wise, to use my standard Xbox One controller as opposed to the Kinect. However, uh, I'm sure I'll be doing some vo vocal commands, uh, you know, along the way. So, I hope you guys enjoy this one. I do love my murder mysteries, and I was looking into doing this game... Uh, for a while now, it actually released yesterday. Today, for me anyway, is the 20th of September. It came out on the 19th. Not much of a release date announcement. Nothing really crazy. They just said, oh, jump, you know, it's coming out eventually. You know, it's coming out. I, th I just knew it was coming out this year. Didn't know when. But anyways, let's talk. Enough talking. But before we get started, if you guys could do me a favor, please hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Favoriting helps out a lot too. Uh, don't have to do it. Just, just asking. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get started. Like I said, apparently it's pretty wacky, and it's got it's got like a comedic side of it as well. So I'm curious to see how that works. This is a work of fiction. Any similarity to actual persons, places, organizations, etc. is purely coincidental. They say that now, but as soon as you mention the KKK, I don't know, man. I don't know what made me think of that. <laughs> David. I think subtitles are on. This is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. The prologue, the day it all began. If I'm not mistaken, it's a murder of his wife, and he has to time travel to figure out who did it and stop it. That's the only way he could do it. The creepy owl is just like, ah, uh, hello. <laughs> Sorry, one second. Thin ice, be careful. This is weird. Grabby grab. Oh, this is wrong. Oh no, why did I do that? Investigate the clues. Wow, I got an achievement just for what? Just for standing. Credits. Grab the credit medal. All right. Push the sign. Ha! Grab all the credit medals. Cool. Turn around and observe the man standing behind the lakeside. Push! Get the ball rolling! Oh, it's just her dad. 
Seems worried. Always nice. Love you. Maybe you should come off the lake. That's not very safe. Now what do you do? Wow, it's popping up achievements like crazy. One second. I want to grab this. I want to grab this. Hold on. Why? See, why is she allowed on this? Like, look at how thin the ice is. That's just not safe. I don't want to push the owl. Why would I do such a thing? Sorry, Mr. Owl. I grabbed it. Ooh. 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 Who the fuck are you, son? Can you imagine if you got off gangsta? Push this bitch ass. Ah! <laughs> Poking the owl. I can't believe he didn't fly away from that. He's like, ah, it's all good. Is that actually going to let her touch him? <laughs> what do you think was going to happen? You're literally on thin ice and you try to poke- <laughs> What the- I told you! <laughs> yes, yeah, so add to the weight, you dumb fuck. You let her play on there in the first place. Bye! Jesus, take the ice. Don't make it crack. Make sure it is gone. I think I might mute it. I mute the music. Just in case. I don't want to risk nothing. Sounds like some serious uh, J-pop, so. There we go. Wow. Damn it. I like how you grab. There we go. Just in case. What is that, a bubble? Like bubble gum? Looks like it. Dude, what on earth are you doing? Oh, fuck. At least he landed that way. But goddamn, and that would hurt some fierce. He, that is bubble gum. Let's grab it. Poke him in the eye. Grab his eye. <laughs> oh, let's pick his nose. Oh, that, that's really what you do. <gasps> How did he survive that? I didn't see you again this time either. What? You're confusing me, bruh. Little Peggy. Am 
My scar aches. Old scar. What is he, Harry Potter? Oh. <laughs> Form a knock with the Boston PD. And now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Why are you chewing it then? Is this Two forced upon ago, you? Someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, a very special power. Time travel! <laughs> it's all generic general knowledge, really. My head is full of memories of my wife. And the bullet that robs me of them. Oh, he was what shot. In this place. That's fucked up. That day. Stamina. Interact without people. Oh, oh okay. It's been broken since that day. Wow, this is nasty. Why would you sit, dude? This bathroom is filthy. Why are the you? Gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. Memento found. Bright red stiletto. A stiletto worn by the librarian at the BPL. Perhaps it was a gift from, her, from a lover. It has a name on the back. Dominic Bean. A mild-mannered librarian by day. At night she lured men with her wiles and sold them drugs. Maybe the sender of the shoe was one of her victims. Either way, she wasn't D. This memento has lost its power. Okay. Very interesting. Permanent blood stain. My wife died here. That's creepy. Let's take a look. Little Peggy. Is that, is that his wife right there? Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library, the register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed, on a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. What the hell is going on here? No, stop! No, 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 stop it! From the day she died, this has been my place to work. Well, damn. I already did this, right? Look for D. Okay, let's try going to the door. Uh, uh. Am I gonna open it? No. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> no results this time either. This case is in the clear. Wow, that's a lot of stuff.
Okay, how do you turn this shit off? Take a drink! Why are these people, like, whenever they start drinking, they're just like... There's only one thing I need after work. Tequila. Straight up. Nothing mixed in. Must I? <sighs> the perfect stimulation for my lead-filled brain. You always look so happy drinking that. I wish I could have a drink too. Does it really taste that good? No, it doesn't. It tastes like ass. Maybe I'll just try a little. You're gonna spit it out, I guarantee you. Get all the info we need. The case files. Did you hear about David's wife? Man, they were just married too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. Sending a deadly message. More like a deadly premonition. Ew! I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. At the time, with no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. Dominic Bean, ah. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. That sounds and wrong. Do it. <laughs> oh, Peggy. He's gonna find Amanda? the D. Find and give that D. I'm gonna open the fridge. I really don't care. What? What? Who tries the door like that? Nice. Oh, can't see food. Get some of that stamina. Okay, close it.
Medicine? I love how- I love how- Okay, what do you want? What? 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 What the fuck? What the- Oh God! Oh! What are you doing? You can't escape now. She's like a cat. This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. She's like a cat. Really, really fucked up cat. Oh my god, I, I, I was hitting the wrong toggle. David, everything ship shake? Not bad. As you can see, Teddy. Someone definitely got the jump on you. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. Get uh. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get, trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women, men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me actually means get right over here. But then, leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. Coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while. Once in a while? All the time is more like it. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. What? And Diana is so stunned. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? No. Access Gate Airways Flight 117 struck by unexplained lightning. No. What's that? Never heard of it. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. So where are we going? Are we going to check out the plane? I'm assuming there's supposed to be music right now. Who the hell are these guys? Look at these guys. No. I was scratching my waist. I should make my own theme song. Dark dreams don't die. Oh, you've got a murdered wife. You've got a crazy Passengers life. Passengers simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood.
This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? Apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? A third party is involved. No, it's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. Right on the money, David. A third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying, after all. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Well? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours, then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. What do we use the credits for? A piece of evidence relating to the case of the Vanishing Courier belonged to the Federal Marshal Derek Buch Buchanan, who was killed, quote-unquote, transporting the courier in question. Using this should allow me to dive into the airplane aboard which is D, the key to my wife's murder case. Okay, how do you do that? So that's how you do things. You jump into the... Interesting. New character outfit. Go into the main bathroom. 